Good morning, Broderbill High School. I am Dr. Ebony Utley, and I am really excited to be receiving the Distinguished Alumna Award. I remember being a student and looking at the marquee every spring and thinking, one day, I want my name to be up there, and I'm thrilled that it's finally happening. I've been given an opportunity to share a few words of advice with you, and I'd like to do so in the context of my Broderbill stories. My first piece of advice is never say never. When I was a senior, I couldn't wait to get out of Indianapolis. I couldn't wait to get out of Indiana. If you had asked me, I would have told you that I was going someplace cool and someplace far away. My behind ended up at Indiana University on a scholarship, and now I can say that was probably one of the best undergraduate experiences I could have had. I also said I never wanted to be a teacher. My parents were teachers. My aunts were teachers and teacher's aides. And I said, A, being a teacher doesn't pay enough. B, there's no respect in being a teacher. Okay, so those two things are kind of true. But the experience of being able to give and what I've received from my students is priceless. I can't put a monetary value on that. At the end of the day, I can say that I influenced and sometimes even changed people's lives by being a teacher. I wouldn't trade that for the world. So I don't want you to be stuck to your teenager desires. Never say never because you don't know what you need to know and you don't know what experiences might end up being life-changing for you. My second piece of advice is that it doesn't matter how long it takes you to do something as long as you continue to persevere and you don't give up on your goals. I was 16 and I didn't have a driver's license or a car. All my friends seemed to have both. I was constantly bumming rides and being frustrated because I couldn't drive, not because I didn't have a car available to me, but because I couldn't pass the driver's test. Not the ridden part, but the driving part. I know I was a really bad driver and I was having trouble passing the driving part of the test and everyone made fun of me, but I persevered. So my junior year I couldn't drive, but my senior year in the fall I was standing in line for my permit. One of my students said, Ebony, what are you doing here? Everyone knows you can't drive. And I turned around, I held up my permit and I was like, I can now. It was a great moment for me. In that moment, was I concerned about the year I spent not driving? No, I was just really happy to have done it. When I was in graduate school and it was taking me days to read one book and I was sure everyone else had done it in hours, all I did was remind myself, it doesn't matter how long it takes me to do this, as long as I can finally get it done. So I want to encourage all of you to never give up and just do whatever needs to be done, no matter how long it takes. And my third piece of advice to you is always vote for yourself. So I was a baby girl and it was some sort of class leadership or student council or something like that. And I, I wanted it, but I didn't want it. I wanted the attention, but I didn't always want to be the center of attention. So I decided to let fate decide. If the class voted for me, cool. If they didn't vote for me, cool. I wasn't going to be upset. So when it came time for me to vote, I didn't vote for myself. And the teacher tallied the results, and I lost by one vote. I promised myself in that moment that I was never going to miss an opportunity to vote for myself again. Now, I know some of you are saying, I'd always vote for myself. Of course, it's ridiculous not to, as you should. But I had an important lesson to learn. And the lesson for all of us is that saying yes is what gives you confidence. Say yes to everything that challenges you and forces you to face your fears and that you believe will make you a better person. Did I know anything about running a television station when I said yes to being one of the first student leaders of BRTV? No, but I did it anyway and it's one of my fondest memories of being at Broderpo High School. When I had the opportunity to be captain of the tennis team, I said yes. Did we win a championship? No, but it was my first chance to be a leader and help other people bring out the best in themselves. When I had an opportunity to go to Spain my junior year with IU Honors, I said yes. Was I super proficient in the language? No, but that trip developed my love for traveling, and I've loved to travel, and I've seen so much of the world since then because of that initial opportunity. When it was time for me to run for prom queen, I said yes. Did I want to have my first dance? I mean my very first high school dance as prom queen? No, I was terrified that I was gonna be embarrassed, but I said yes and I won and it was a super fond memory because I, I faced my fears. 
When it was time to go to graduate school and get a PhD, I said yes. Did I know what all was involved? No. It was a challenge, but it worked out just fine. Here I am today, living my goals. When the Oprah Winfrey Network called and asked if I wanted to be on national television, I said yes. Had I done it before? No, but now it's an experience that they can't take away from me. I want to encourage all of you to just say yes. Say yes to those things that force you to face your fears. Say yes to those challenges that will make you a better person. Because again, it's saying yes that gives us our confidence. Thank you all for listening. Thank you to the committee for choosing me for this award. My only regret is that I can't be with you in person. I'm a teacher. My students need me at the end of the semester, so I had to say no to coming in person. But I said yes to the video because I wanted to have an opportunity to share with you some of my experiences. If you want to continue this conversation, then find me online at theuglyexperience.com or hit me up on Instagram or Twitter at you underscore experience. Thank you so much.